prop room. It's a small room, so that the, you know the students have to get used to working in tight quarters. But we light this up. They have to grab a tool and actually open this. And once the door is open, fire kind of jumps out at them a little bit. Um, and then at that point, you can actually have it engaged and roll across the ceiling. We teach you that you never allow fire to walk the ceiling and get down behind you, because then it can cut off your exit. So when it rolls over, they have to be cognizant. And it's usually not the person on the nozzle. It's usually the person backing them up that actually recognizes that it's going over here. You give them a tap on the shoulder, they have to lean back and walk the fire back down toward the seat of the fire. So here's our kitchen, uh, again designed to simulate a uh, you know, kitchen fire stove, uh, much like the multi-prop. Uh, if they're not fighting the fire here on the seat with the appropriate technique, they'll be called to grow a little bit. And again, we'll call it to roll across the ceiling. Now if the students are using the proper technique to extinguish the seat of the fire, then typically they won't get it rolling over the ceiling. Upstairs, but they are thermal couplings upstairs at about a five foot mm -hmm. uh, height with the, with the thermometer on the outside. We don't allow rooms to get above 500 degrees, okay. obviously, to keep our students safe. Now, here we were using natural ventilation, we just open the windows, mm -hmm. um, and open the doors, I'm sorry. Upstairs, we actually have the students do uh, horizontal ventilation. So they'll be doing a little bit, a little bit of that today, mm -hmm. where we actually open a door or a window, which mm -hmm. is the techniques we use in the real world. They back up three feet, three or five feet away from the door, mm -hmm. open a fog pattern through the door, and it literally sucks all the smoke out of the room in a matter of seconds. But yeah. that should only be done by a professional, not regular yeah, person. Because if it's done improperly, then you induce additional water damage into the property. Wow. Yeah, all of the water has to exit the door or window. If you hit the frames and all that water stays inside, and again, it causes additional damage. But we, we teach them more. Here are our pendants. Mm -hmm. They control the fires for the uh, class B rooms here. Okay. Each room has its own pendant. So in addition to the instructor that's taking the students in, we have an additional instructor inside, behind cover, that's operating the actual fire, operating the burn. And again, these are only on the class B 
downstairs. What we look for downstairs is more of tactics and proper extinguishing techniques from the students. So it doesn't get as hot. We can spend more time doing instruction, um, working on communication, working on hose management, and that type of stuff downstairs. the rooms. One group will go in in one room, mm -hmm. go through fire behavior, then we knock it down. The second group comes into the south room, same thing, knock it down, third group, and then we just keep alternating like that. When they do their final burn, light both rooms up, they have to fight two fires. Okay, so. Well, it's, it's, it's building, um, building blocks. Um, that's more close to what you're gonna have in a, in a real world scenario. Here's all the controls for the Class B rooms, the downstairs rooms. Um, it's a pretty sophisticated system. Uh, I can't turn it on now because the building will start doing crazy things. Once we turn it on, it stays on for the rest of the day. Oh, wow. Um, but this, this is where all of the monitoring takes place for the Class B rooms. Um, now, if we didn't have those pendants that I showed you, the building, the, the Class B rooms can actually be operated from these panels as well. Um, but the uh, downside to that is we won't have a visual of what's going on in there, so the remotes work best. Um, but so we'll have an instructor leading the students in, an instructor operating the pendants, and still one of uh, we have a handful of guys who are responsible for the building. Myself being one, instructor Troposo, instructor Navarre, and instructor Hile. At any burn, at least one of us has to be here, and we will be in these rooms, bouncing back and forth, making sure that all the levels are staying good, so that the building doesn't get shut down. Garcia, E, yeah. Morales, 
Moscato. Dr. Lance is up top. 